So there was a Nintendo Direct last night, and apparently there were some pretty hype things that appeared. Uh, I know a couple things that appeared. Like Chrono, Tro Chrono Cross is getting a remake, which is pretty dope. I've not seen anything on it. Awesome. Uh, Mario Kart 8 is getting a ton of DLC. It's like scattered out throughout the year, I believe. That's awesome. Interesting that they're not doing a uh, Mario Kart 9, but I'll take... I'll take more tracks over a brand new game, so that's we'll check that out. See what that is. There's a weird Kirby game apparently with he eats cars. I don't know what that's about. I just kept seeing people talk about Kirby on Twitter. And a new Fire Emblem. I think it's big stuff, unless I missed something else. I don't know. No new Zelda. No new, of course, no new Pokemon announcement. Nothing like that, as far as I know. So, but let's check it out. We're gonna skim through it, kind of just vibe, check his stuff out, see what it's about. So, all right, let's do it. How will you live in this universe? <clears throat> oh yeah, No Man's Sky is coming to Switch, which is no Man's Sky curious. Nintendo Switch this summer. Interesting. Oh, a new Mario Strikers game. I think they are armored up. What the hell? Oh, jeez! I've never played a Strikers game. For some reason, this this that little art style here is giving me like uh, Mario Strikers. What's that dodgeball game? Prepare for strike. A five on five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals by dribbling and passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles. Jesus, items, he's drop kick. And crushing special shot. This looks kind of fun. Let me get this. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try to score more goals than your opponents. There are two things. To <laughs> Freaking warrior. Help you with your strategies. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also but your, stats. your stats like speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Okay. Customization? In a Mario soccer game? <laughs> what? Hyper strike. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are destroyed. When are we going to get a true blitz ball game? That's what we need. Net, and you'll score not one, but two goals. Good lord. Okay. Up to eight players. Four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Jesus. Eight people on one Switch? Individual matches. Online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. All split. Next. Please take a look at this. Splatoon 3. Did we got the second Splatoon for my daughter on uh on Christmas like two years ago? We played it quite a bit. And she likes it a lot. It's fun to play every once in a while. So to the multiplayer, the online, competing with each other. Like this, yeah, pretty fun. And the music is what the heck. Oh, it's just like a a horde mode. Oh, that'll be fun. What the heck? Oh, that's dirty. Boss Salmonoid. You got a cloud at the top. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Flipper flopper. What a strange game. But fun. But fun.
Dude, I hope this horde mode's like couch club type deal. That'd be fun. My daughter not playing this. Yes, please. <laughs> what is it doing at the bottom? Oh. Interesting. Interesting. What the heck? I thought it was a chicken. That's a salmon run. Next wave. That's gonna be fun. All right, what's next? World cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. Oh, this must be. A rematch. There it is. Of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross. Nintendo Switch system. I'm excited for this because I I owned this as a kid, but never like played it for more than like. A couple hours, that's it. Somewhat resembles his home world. He finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Oh, I cannot wait for this, dude. Can join your party. 40? I didn't know that. The choices you make, the allies who accompany you, and the endings that trigger will differ. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster. Like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Oh, what about a speed up function? Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satella View, is included. What the hell is the Satella View? Of Chrono Cross, what is that? Adventure. Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition, dashes and slashes. That's like, way onto Nintendo that's Switch very Nintendo. soon. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I saw this is like 20 bucks, I believe, on the eShop. So that's cool. Oh, here's this crazy Kirby game. Let's see what this is about. People were memeing all over this on Twitter yesterday. Okay, eat the fox and become the fox. You get their powers. Kirby just ate a car. Now he is a car. What? Classic Kirby right here. It's Kirby's God, I've not played Kirby in so long. Platforming adventure. Kirby Link. Forgotten land. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kid. I mean, I'm sold so far. Sets off on a new adventure. Doesn't look too bad. Introducing mouthful mode. Mouthful mode, huh? Hail a car to zoom around. A vending machine to attack with juice cans. Or become a piercing cone. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. <sighs> this reminds me of Rotom from Pokemon. Like, Kirby's essentially become Rotom. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's, Waddle Dee Town will continue to. It is weird. It's very strange that he can just eat vending machines and vehicles. And become them. That's kind of weird. Waddle Dee's but... weapon shop. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. <laughs> Chakram cutter. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. Jesus. They'll also change Kirby's <laughs> appearance and make him even more. Gigant sword. Noble ranger. Frosty ice. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. Right. Makes sense. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? 
Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the I mean it looks fun. System, March 25th? Pre-orders are available. Holy now shit, these games are coming out very shop. soon. Today, Megalovania. Save data from the demo. What is this? By which all future lords shall What's that game called? Saranoa and his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among three nations. Your choices and conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath. By Wait, triangle strategy. Lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. <laughs> Triangle strategy. That looks kind of good. Mario Kart. All right, well, this place. <laughs> hey, DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Oh, it's like a battle pass. Or it's not a battle pass, but it's like... From past Mario Kart games. It's a pass type deal. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. Jesus, six waves? Additional courses we plan on releasing That's way more than I thought. Courses such as Coconut Moth. Chaco Mountain. And Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. <sighs> I've. Uh. First wave of the Mario Kart Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch. Forty-eight courses for twenty-five dollars. That's not bad. Pre-orders begin today. Doesn't seem bad to me anyway. Twenty-five bucks for. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster. What does that mean? Do I have that? It's N64 Sega like Genesis games? I'll have to check. How was that? <laughs> I hope you're looking forward. It was good though. I liked it. It was good. I'm That's down. The way of our world. What is this? This looks cool. Ionios. <laughs> Oh, this is Xenoblade. I've never played a Xenoblade game before, but I've heard they're so good. I knew it. I saw this coming. You are. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try, try to move forward again. How can our lives be so snuff and little to you? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Sword map. Holy crap! It's a big map. Insert Pokemon Legends of Arceus comments. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you soldier it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It will never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go. Damn, I want to play this. this world. They must be erased without a trace. Have I been missing out on Xenoblade games? Xenoblade. I'll call you in with that. That's awesome. So I say the big. That's this year. Wow. All right. Well, that's everything. I think the big takeaways here, or the, the things I'm excited for, would be the, the Chrono Cross remaster. Looks awesome. Xenoblade looks good. Kingdom Hearts on the Switch on Cloud's pretty cool. I'll have to check and see how much it's going to be, though, because having all of the games, it's going to be kind of pricey, I imagine. The Splatoon Horde mode looks fun. That's going to be fun to play with me and my daughter. Uh, that'd be about it, honestly. But it looks fun. It looks fun. It's pretty good. 
pretty good direct, honestly. It's the first one I've ever actually set on a watch to all of. So, I'm pretty impressed. I'm happy with it. All right. It's going to be the end of this one. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, a lot of good games. A lot of games that I've never played before that I'm excited to play, like Triangle. Triangle Strategy, I think was the name of that. That looks pretty good. Almost like an Octopath Traveler successor, spiritual successor or whatever. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to head out.